So we've seen how the uh, matching model works and we've also seen uh, what is the efficient unemployment rate in the matching model, that is um, what is the unemployment rate and the labor market tightness that a benevolent government or benevolent social planner would like to uh, achieve in order to maximize their objective, which is um, to maximize welfare. Now we're going to turn to the effect of policies in the matching model, something that we haven't uh, really looked at. So we'll do, we'll do two things. So we'll introduce a number of policies, uh, labor market policies, that uh, in practice uh, we see governments use. Um, and so we'll use three types of, uh, we'll look at three types of policies. We'll look at policies that aim to change wages, um, so that's going to be either like minimum wage, for instance, where you control the wage directly, or wage tax and subsidies, where you can, through taxation, affect the wage paid by firms. Then we look at uh, public employment. So that's when the government decides to hire more or uh, less workers. Um, so, and th these two types of policies, policies that affect the wage, and policies in which the government decide to change hiring to have a bigger, bigger public sector or smaller public sector. These are policies that aim to um, affect the total number of people who are employed and hence the total number of people who are uh, unemployed. So these are what we call active labor market policies, so policies to uh, influence the unemployment rate. And then we're going to look to conclude at a third type of policy, which is unemployment insurance. So unemployment insurance is quite different from the two other policies, from wage policies and uh, public employment, because unemployment insurance doesn't aim at um, reducing or, uh, you know, the unemployment rate, for instance. It's not an active labor market policy. Instead, it's a passive labor market policy. It's a policy that doesn't directly affect the unemployment rate, but that tries to make the situation of unemployed workers better while they are unemployed. Okay? Uh, so it's a situation that doesn't directly try to reduce the number of people who don't have a job, but that tries to make uh, the plight of unemployed workers uh, better. Okay? Uh, so that's what, we're going to, uh, that's what we're going to look at. And we'll do... Uh, we'll look both at how um, these policies affect uh, the behavior of the model, so how they are, when you implement the policy, how the unemployment rate changes, the labor market tightness changes, and so on. Um, so we'll try to see like what the, whether these effects change over the business cycle or not. And then we're going to try to think a little bit about what a social, a benevolent social planner who would have access to these policies would decide to do. Like how a benevolent social planner would actually use the policy to reach, say, efficient unemployment or other, uh, other outcomes that the social planner would see, would, um, would consider, um, desirable. Okay. Um, so we'll do this, uh, we'll look at these two aspects of things. Okay, so uh, we, are, we are going to compare, as I was saying, uh, two types of policies. Um, so we are going to compare active labor market policies to passive labor market policies. So active labor market policies are policies that actually uh, to reduce unemployment. You know, when unemployment is too high. Um, and so, um, and so the two types of policy that we're going to look at are policies that affect wages, because we know that the wage that firms pay to workers is a key determinant of uh, the level of unemployment. So we're going to look at 
uh, we're going to look at wage policies and that's going to be say things like the minimum wage and uh, wage tax or wage subsidies and then we're going to look at uh, public employment which is you know when um, the government decides to employ workers uh, so these are active labor market policies and then we'll also look at uh, what we call passive labor market policies which are policies that do not try to reduce directly the unemployment rate but that make the situation of the unemployed worker better. And so that's the main policy that we're going to look at. There is unemployment insurance, which in general, you know, uh, tends to increase actually the unemployment rate a little bit, but greatly improves the situation of the unemployed workers by providing them, you know, income that they wouldn't have uh, if we didn't have unemployment insurance, you know, once they've lost their job. 